Well, new at 10, there is a bill in the legislature that would allow adding nitrogen gas to the death penalty. A bill would give the state more options when it comes to the death penalty. Channel 8's Matthew Mitleider says some say the implications of the bill are unethical. A Nebraska senator is looking to add asphyxiation by nitrogen gas as a method for executing death row inmates. He says the method is more humane and painless when taking someone's life. Nebraska currently has 11 people that are on the death row uh, as of last September. So this is something that we need to add to our arsenal in order to carry out the will and wishes of the Nebraska people. Nebraska has only had one execution in the last 27 years. Senator Lauren Lippincott says the resources needed for lethal injection, the state's current execution method, are scarce. He also says inserting IVs into an inmate can be difficult. From tests that have been done on nitrogen and also on helium, a person loses consciousness in approximately 15 to 30 seconds. And after approximately three minutes, the person is going to be dead. People that commit suicide using gases, uh, the most popular way is using nitrogen and or helium. And uh, again, it's uh, painless, it's peaceful. The nation's first nitrogen execution took place in January. Kenny Smith was executed in Alabama after a failed lethal injection in 2022. The execution took about 22 minutes. Smith was conscious for several minutes, then he appeared to shake with seizure-like movements. Ari Cohen, a member of the Laheim Jews Against the Death Penalty, says there isn't a great demand for it. From my faith perspective, taking the life of, uh, of, a, of a person is um, is is a wrong. Uh, it's a moral wrong. We didn't need it. We we are safe. We are protected as a community from violent offenders. They go to jail and they stay in jail. Uh, and that's the goal. Cohen says this proposed method is especially egregious because of the Holocaust. The idea of gassing people, uh, putting a mask on someone uh, and gassing them, uh, whether it's with nitrogen, whether it's with cyanide, whether, I mean, whether it's a gas chamber or a mask, uh, having the state uh, administering a gas to, to take the life to suffocate people, it's a very unsettling uh, reminder of, um, of, of a terrible, terrible dark time in, in the history of humanity. In order to move forward, the bill must be voted on by members of the Judiciary Committee before going up for debate. Reporting in Lincoln, Matthew Mitleider, Channel 8 News.